Hi, Chem 1046 gang. So we are almost uh, wrapping up week three of the Chem 1046 course. And uh, on Friday, um, September the 28th, uh, our unit one is due. So that means your take at home test is due uh, and your uh, assignment is also due, which is um, the assignment in our Mastering Chem. So in this video, what I'd like to do is have a look at Unit 2, uh, since that's where most of you will be uh, starting uh, this weekend. So I'm going to go into Content, and I'm going to go into Unit 2, which is right here, but uh, I already have that opened up. So you can see that Unit 2, it's due on October the 19th. So you need to have everything completed by October the 19th. This unit is on Chapters 4 and Chapters 5, and we're going to be learning about the modern atomic theory. We're also going to be learning how to uh, write formulas for compounds and also how to name compounds. So scrolling down, remember whenever you start a new unit you're going to start at the top and then you're going to work your way down. So you're going to be reading chapters 4 and 5 in your textbook and then if you click on learning activities you can read about what you'll be learning uh, here, what textbook pages that you're going to cover, also uh, what activities in Mastering Chem as well. So have a look at this learning activities. Just click on this title and it will bring you to that. You have a discussion due in this unit. Uh, in this discussion, the topic is on uh, ingredients lists on your favorite uh, products, and you're going to um, research one of those ingredients. You're going to write a post, and in the post, you're going to answer these six uh, tasks, and you're also going to remember to reply to a classmate's post. So in order to post, you just click on this title, Discussion, and it will bring you to the discussion group and you post just like you would in the Q&A discussion. So that uh, uh, discussion assignment is due October the 19th, uh, but you'll want to get that post up before the 19th because you'll also want to reply to a classmate's post. So watch for that. Uh, here are your Mastering Chem homework assignments. I've linked these now, so if you click on Unit 2 Homework Assignment, it will bring you directly to the Mastering Chem homework assignment, so you don't have to go back through content and uh, Mastering Chemistry links in order to get to that assignment. The adaptive follow-up is just for practice after you do the Unit 2 homework assignment. Uh, you don't have to do this one, it's not for marks. Only the Unit 2 homework assignment is for marks. Um, there's also this for practice assignment, which is another voluntary study tool. It has lots of uh, tutorials that will help you in writing formulas and naming compounds. So that's a, a those two are great resources just to help you with your study, but this Unit 2 homework assignment is for Mark, so you're going to want to complete that. I always like to print off the test study guide uh, before I start reading in the textbook because it will help you focus your studies. So to read the outcomes um, covered in the test, you want to click on this and you can print it off. And then as you're going along in your study of the textbook, uh, you'll have this guide for studying. This unit, there is a proctored unit test, which means that you have to go to a campus testing center and write the test on campus. So don't, uh, if you clicked on this now, um, you wouldn't be able to get into it because it needs a password uh, that the proctors have. It's also a timed test. All of our tests are timed. Uh, the unit one test didn't have a timer, so uh, that was kind of a bonus, <laughs> but now all the tests have been timed to, have been set to 120 minutes, which is two hours. You won't need the full two hours, but you're welcome to use it all to review. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to schedule uh, a test at a camp campus testing center in one moment. Uh, print out the scrap paper. Uh, 
along with the study guide right away because there are formulas at the top of the scrap tape paper that or, or information that you'll want to become familiar with before you go into the test. So you'll have this unit two scrap paper to print off for the test. The proctors can do that. Uh, along with the test, you'll have access to a periodic table in the questions, but also this con constants list. And if you click on this, you can print off the constants list now, just so that you get used to using the constants list and also the scrap paper <clears throat> as you're working on practice problems in the unit. So it's good to print this off, print that off, and print off the test study guide right away so you have all the information uh, before you even start studying for this unit two. And then lastly, we have a unit two Q&A. So I love that everyone's been posting to here. Please keep that up. Uh, what I would like to see more of are specific questions in the Q&A so that I can respond with a video or with a solution set. Um, I find that's really helpful. So don't, uh, instead of emailing me your questions, post to the Q&A because that helps all of us. We're a really large group, which means that there should be lots of questions that I can respond to in the Q&A. Um, and it just makes the, the course a little bit more fun and definitely more informative. So that's the end of Unit 2. Let's go back to this proctored unit test because you are going to want to make an appointment with your campus testing center of choice. It doesn't have to be your nearest campus. It can be just your preferred campus, so any of the 13 campuses across the province. And uh, to find out information for the campuses, you're going to click on services and information, and you're going to go down to testing services and click on it. And then uh, what you want to do is, oh, they changed this around. Let's see. Testing centers, there we go. Hours and locations. So you're going to click on that. And then you can see all of the testing centers in the province, including their testing hours. So you're going to choose a campus with the testing hours. Um, and then you're going to submit a testing request form. So once you find the campus that you want to uh, write your test at, you're going to click on the testing request form and you're going to request um, the test and the campus site. Um, and there you go. So that's how you book a uh, test. If you'd like to call a testing center to ask for more information, definitely you can do that using the testing center hours and locations. There are no fees for um, our online tests uh, for the School of Access, so you don't have to worry about paying anything extra. That's only if you were doing uh, an outside external test and needed proctoring. So if you have any questions about the unit or about proctor tests, uh, please let me know. Reach out in the Q&A or if it's of a more personal nature, definitely email, phone or text me. And I hope everyone has a great Friday getting Unit 1 down and uh, all the best as you start Unit 2. Bye for now.